Hey everyone, welcome back to another installation video. And in today's video, we're installing the Chrome Delete for the grill for the 2023 Toyota Tundra. So I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step on how to go about applying each piece. So I'm gonna show you how it looks before and how it looks after the installation. So let's get started with the installation. This is how you would receive the grill Chrome Delete. So as you can see in this one, this is all for the driver's side. All the pieces on this end are for the driver's side. The bar that you see there, that one's for the middle piece of the grill. So it's only a one piece for that one. So for this installation, we're gonna do the, the driver's side and the same thing that we do for the driver's side. You will rinse and repeat the same process for the passenger side. So before starting the installation for the chrome delete for the upper grill, you wanna make sure to clean the whole part where the chrome is gonna be. It's so basically all of the chrome of the front panel and also on the back. You wanna clean it with alcohol mixed with water. That way there's no leftover contaminants or any dust or any dirt on, on the panel that we're gonna work on. So we wanna make sure everything is clean. Okay, so once you finish cleaning the whole panel, the next thing is just placing each piece to its corresponding area. So what I recommend doing is starting from the bottom and work your way to the top because the last thing we're gonna install would be the top part, the top bar here. So we wanna make sure we start installing first all the bottom pieces and then just work our way up until we get to the last piece. The same steps that we do on this side to the other side. And then once both are finished installing, we end it with here, with the top part. So let's get started. So just to make things easier, I cut out the piece that's gonna be long for the bottom part. So this is the bottom portion of the decal. All I did was just cut it in half. That way I'm able to just peel and stick. We're gonna start off with the edge first here. Go based on how it's aligned. So this one's gonna go for the inner piece here. The other big piece is gonna go for the middle. And then this piece will be the outer side. So just peel. You wanna align it, the bottom edge of the chrome here. And from there, tack it down, make sure it's aligned and covering the chrome on the edge here. And you are gonna have overlap on each film. So that's why it's recommended to start from the bottom. Once you work your way all the way on top, the last piece just overlaps on top of the other ones. So just align it. And when you're installing this, take your time. You could get a feel out of the, the film. So right here, once it's aligned, it's just tacking down with your finger. So when you're squeegeeing the vinyl, you wanna squeegee at an angle. That way you don't accidentally crease the film. If you see that you might be creasing it, with this vinyl, you could just lift it and pull it just a little bit, not too hard. Because if you pull, you might overstretch. So just lift it and then tack back down. Make sure it covers all the chrome on the edge here and it's gonna overlap with this one. The so same as before, you wanna align it right on the edge here. And then once you have it aligned, it should follow up with the rest of the form on the chrome here. So just align it and make sure with this piece, it covers here too and align. And if you need to lift it, you can. And just squeegee. So it should sit flat. Make sure it's aligned to the bottom curve here and then just tack it down. So once it's there, go little by little. Make sure when you're squeegeeing, you squeegee at an angle with your finger and it should cover all of the chrome. Once you're done with this piece, you just continue on with the rest. It's just aligning and placing. So I cut it just so you guys could see. So this one's gonna be for the edge here. This middle one is gonna cover all of this. This big piece here is gonna go for the outer side here. So start off here. So just align it, make sure it covers the chrome. So roughly around there. So always squeegee sideways. So make sure it's aligned. Align it on top. Just like that. So it has to do a full coverage, no chrome showing. And then from here, squeegeeing. Pull the film just a bit if you are having trouble after the alignment. And then with your finger, you just go up and down. Make sure you're not going straight towards the film. Just go side to side. So just 
squeegee everything once you get down here make sure it's aligned tack the front part first that way everything sits flush and then from here once you tack everything out the last thing is the last part here so just go at an angle too so go side to side with your squeegee and if you do happen to come across a finger lift the film up just a bit add a little bit of heat and it should go away let it cool off before tacking down and you should be good okay so once you're done installing these we'll go ahead and move on with just these two parts because this one's going to be last it's going to overlap with the rest of them so we just want to install these okay, so with this one we're going to align it right on the edge of the body line here of the, of the grill so you just want to align it there make sure it's covering the chrome so align it there and then it has to cover the chrome so right there just follow the body line of the, of the chrome and then from here just lift the film up and work your way to to placing the film here Right here you are going to come across some fingers so just pull the film just a bit try not to stretch it when you're pulling and apply heat that way those fingers can go away remember to always let film cool off just a bit before you tack down because you might accidentally crease it or over stretch it if you do if you don't wait it's just placing at an angle and then rinse and repeat So it's just going to be tricky getting used to it, but with just a little bit of time and some heat, you should be good. So now we move on with the next piece here. And you're going to cover this part too. So align it on the top. Right there. Make sure when you're bringing it down, it's a line. And you can overlap it. And it should fit like that. And here, just lift the film up just a bit. And just squeegee. Okay, so once you finish installing this one, the next thing is installing the big piece here. This one, we're going to align it here. So it's going to go tucked inside. So right around there. So if it's inside, that's that's fine. Once you have it in there, then you just align the film. Make sure you're covering all of the chrome. Right here, we're just going to tuck in the film. And you should be covering all of the chrome here. And then same with here. You're just going to tuck in and go align with the chrome. Just like that. And then from here, lift the film and squeegee it going sideways you should cover it down here curve it here and just squeegee Right here, we are going to have excess material, so all you're going to do is just, with the blade, cut it out and then tuck in. And just be careful when you're when you're using the blade, you don't want to scrape the, the chrome. So just try to find the spot where, the chrome, where there's a gap, and from there just pass your blade and trim it. So right there. And it's just tucking in. 
And then to seal it, you can use heat as well. And just tuck in. Once you're done with the bottom piece, we move on to this piece. So this part right here is just one piece. We're going to align it first on this edge. We want to cover all of the chrome. You align it to where the curve is about to end. Once you have it there, then it's just squeegeeing. Squeegee this part first. That way you have it flat. And then go with the other part, which is here. And then from there, just work your way. So just squeegee little by little. Lift if you need to. And from here, we want to make sure it's flat. We are going to need to curve the film inside. So just pull back a bit because you're going to have some fingers. Make sure this spot here is flush. If you need to, you're going to have to add heat. That way the fingers remove. So just pull the film just a bit. Heat around the edge. Heat around the edge and then squeegee. Make sure you're squeegeeing up and down. And that removes all the fingers here. And then from here you can start tacking down. So just be careful, take your time. And this one's the whole piece and that's it. Now we move on into the last part which is here. Make sure you cover the chrome, line it there. Make sure you follow the curve. You need to you can lift the film and just tack down. So that one same thing, we're gonna line it on the bottom. Make sure you cover the chrome. And you work your way around it. It just sit like that. This part you are going to tuck in on the back. So just tuck it in. And you should be good. Now we're done. We move on to the last piece, which is the bar here. Okay, once you're done installing both sides, the last thing is installing the bar. It's going to be like this when you receive it. So the curved part is going to go going facing downward. And the more straighter part is going to go on top. And you're just going to align it. It is going to overlap on top of each other on each side. So just align it to the top first. So place it and then work your way on one end first. Just make sure you cover up to the top edge of the bar and then cover. And then work your way with the other side. And just align and tack down. So once you have it tacked down, the middle part should all be placed down. Just squeegee it. And from there, work your way installing the bottom part. Recommend starting from the middle. If you need to use heat, you can. Once you have the whole middle placement down, the next thing is tacking down the remaining inside the curve. Now 
And then once you're done installing, it's just post heating everything all around and then you're good. Clean your panel. Once it's clean and dry, then we can start with the installation. Okay, now that the panel is clean and dry, the next thing is aligning the film. So you want to align it on the top part here. Make sure it's covering all of the chrome. And then from here, once you have it tacked down here, you work your way downward. You don't want to squeegee this side yet because we're here, we're going to do something else. So it's just tacking down all of the bottom part here. So grab your squeegee and just go side to side. This part is going to go tucked in here and just continue to make your way downward. And then right here is just tucking in. Once you have most of the film tacked down, you're going to have to use a blade, trim the excess material. There's a gap in between the plastic trim here and the actual chrome. It should be easy to just remove. Just like that. And then remove it and then just tuck in the rest. And then before we continue off with this side, right here, we're going to need to do a cut. So we're going to do the cut on the body line of this trim and on the body line on this half. Peel the vinyl towards you. Make sure when you're about to trim it, not to trim on the actual chrome. So just poke a hole and cut straight. That way you do a release cut and do the same on this side here. So follow the trim here and do another release cut here. That way you're just able to squeegee with no fingers coming out. So tack down the edge, tack down this edge. So work your way from middle and work your way out. And you're just heating on the inside now. And that's it, you're done. So that concludes the installation for the Blackout Grill Chrome. Just quick tips, take your time aligning each piece. Make sure you're not rushing it and if you do see fingers coming up, just always remove the film with a little bit of heat and then let it cool off and then just tack it down and should remove all the fingers. And then once you're done with everything, with the front and the back, the last thing is just post heating it all around and you should be good afterwards. But if you guys do have any other questions in regards to installation, feel free to message us and we'll help you guys out. Until then, see you guys on the next video.